everyone, this is Jen with NorthCoastGardening.com and today I want to show you how to deadhead and prune your hydrangea. Now, we're at the end of summertime here and you can see the hydrangea is still going in some ways so I'm not going to prune the entire plant, but I am going to show you how to prune off these icky dead flower heads and then you'll have the concept down for when your hydrangea is completely finished blooming. So, what you're doing, the main concept here is that in a warm climate like this, you would find your dead flower head, and not only would you take it off, but you would also do the pruning for the year right now, too. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit closer up how to find the place to prune. So the first step in pruning your hydrangeas is to grab the dead flower head and first just notice what is going on along this stem. Now you'll see where these leaves come out, these first two leaves right below your dead flower head, you'll notice there aren't any swollen buds right in here. But if you go one further down, you'll see that there are these little things that look kind of like elongated peas, or, you know, they're about, oh, a third of an inch long sometimes, and they're a nice fresh green color, and you can see them right here at the base of the leaf at the stem. So that's what you're looking for. These swollen buds here are what carry the potential for a flower for you for next year or even two flowers. So, um, so each one of these will come up next year and give you a nice flower. So what you'd want to do in a warm climate like mine is once you have your dead flowers um, and they're not looking good anymore and you want to prune them off, you come down and you follow your plant down to where you've got this first set of swollen buds and that's where you prune to. You prune just above those buds. You want to be really careful not to damage those buds. So you'd prune to there and just remove this dead flower head. And you would do that all over the plant. And you can even do that on some of the, some of the leaves that have come up and have not bloomed. You can still sort of follow them down to where they've got some nice swollen buds and go ahead and prune those too. So the whole plant is um, looking really even and kind of like a nice rounded shape. That'll um, give you a full habit for next year. Now, if you're happy with the size of your hydrangea, that's what you'd want to do is prune to that first, first um, set of swollen buds. Now, if your hydrangea is getting just a little bit too big or it's getting a little leggy and stretching for the light, you can come down into the body of the plant and look and see, do I have any more sets of swollen buds down in here that still have leaves? Now, there, I can see in here if you follow the stem all the way down, there are some sets of swollen buds that don't have any leaves. But I found pruning it that far down, I often don't get a good result next year. Sometimes um, I end up with a little bit of frost damage um, and those buds don't end up happening for me. So I try and make sure that I prune high enough to where the plant still has a good set of leaves going along with those swollen buds. So that's what you do in a warm climate. And you would go ahead and do that pruning um, right when your plant is done flowering. Now in a cold climate, um, you want to be careful that these buds are not going to get frozen. So if you are in a climate where it snows, what you'd want to do is to deadhead your hydrangea, just bring it down to this first set of leaves that does not have the swollen buds. And then in mid spring, you'll want to come back and prune it again, just like I've shown you to where you've got a nice set of swollen buds. So you want to do that later on in mid spring so that the extra amount of stem that you're leaving all the way around the plant is going to just kind of help protect the plant from a little bit of the frost and the cold. So that's basically what you look for when you're pruning or deadheading your big leaf hydrangea. So this has been Jen with NorthCoastGardening.com showing you how to prune your hydrangea.